another portable power station review? Sure, why not? What's up everybody? How you doing today? My name is David Franco and welcome back to my primary channel. Yes, I'm going to say that every couple videos or so because I do have a second channel. I don't know if you guys knew that, but it's called Creative Finance. It is linked right below. Please check it out if you haven't done so already. I upload there at least once a week and that channel is all about transparency in regards to making money and doing things that you actually enjoy. Creative things, whether it's photography, video editing, writing, blogging. There are so many ways to make money on the internet these days. And while that channel is completely dedicated to that, and I am so, so transparent with you in regards to numbers. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm proud of it. You know, that's definitely a channel I'm proud of because I think people should talk more openly about money and well, how much you can make or cannot make. So check it out, it's right below. Thank you so much. Okay, so today's video is about another portable power station. I talked about a larger and much heavier power station a couple weeks ago, but I figured why not get my hands on another portable power station that's potentially more realistic for the average consumer. Because let's face it, not everybody needs a 2000 watt power station. So 500 watts in my eyes is a lot more realistic and a lot more portable. And I'll talk about that more in a bit. But first let's focus on the unboxing experience. So first of all, you get the user manual, you get a quick start guide, you get lots of cables. I'll talk about that in detail very shortly. And of course, you get the 500 watt portable power station itself. Okay, so the Fatork portable power station, and I hope I'm saying that right, Fatork, I'm going to assume that's correct. It offers a ton of ports and outlets for your everyday consumer. Starting out, we have two standard AC US power outlets. These things you should see all the time. I mean, they're pretty much standard. They're going to help you power and or charge your everyday devices, such as your notebook computer, your smartphone, space heater that you might wanna keep in your office or maybe even your car. Hey, you never know. Well, this thing's got you covered because it's got two outlets, which is great. And speaking of two, we also have two DC outlets as well as one car socket. We also have two USB 3.0 ports, two USB-C ports, and finally one input port for actually charging the power station. And speaking of that, you can actually charge this power station from zero to 100% in just three hours, which is actually great if you're thinking about going on a trip, this thing can be charged in no time. Also worth mentioning is the fact that this portable power station actually includes a convenient light, which actually offers three modes, high, low and SOS. Yes, this actually does have an SOS mode for its lights, which I think is really convenient. Well, because let's face it, most people don't know how to do SOS manually using an actual flashlight or the lights on your phone. This thing has you covered. You simply hold down the SOS button and while well, the portable power station takes care of the work for you. This is especially important to keep in mind if you go camping or on some trip because you never know, things do happen. Okay, so let's talk about performance. I mean, if this thing doesn't perform well, then what good is it? Well, I'm happy to report the portable power station works exactly as advertised. I mean, it works perfectly. It's a portable power station. It powers, it charges exactly how you'd expect it to. And actually I have an example. So right here, I have my GoPro Hero 10 and a USB-C cable. So I'm going to do this live. Let's plug in my GoPro via one of the two USB-C ports in the front. And guys, keep in mind, this could be great to take on the go on a trip. Well, because let's face it, you don't always have instant access to a USB-C port and or standard US plug, but with this thing, you do. Check it out, plug that in, but you have to click DC to actually turn that portion of the portable power station on. And the GoPro, you see that little red light right there? It starts charging. It just works. Next up, let's try my MacBook Pro. Give me one second, please. All right. All right, so let's take the max A portion and the AC plug. Let's plug the AC portion into the portable power station. Boom. And if you listen, check it out. Boom, it's charging. It works exactly as advertised. However, with that said, there is one charging method that I would have loved to see. And that's wireless charging, like I saw on the previous power station. Unfortunately, this model does not offer that. So check it out, I put my phone in the middle, and obviously it's, it's not gonna charge because it's not built for that. So that would have been really nice, but hey, I mean, there's nothing stopping you from obviously having a lightning cable handy, plugging it in, and then plugging in the other end to the portable power station. 
but still, wireless charging definitely would have been nice. All right, so let's talk about some emergency scenarios because you may be wondering how can this thing fit into your everyday life? Well, first of all, this thing should not fit into your everyday life. And I say that in a good way because this isn't exactly the kind of device you wanna be using every single day because well, you don't wanna be having emergencies every day. But with that said, at the same time, I mean, there's nothing stopping you from taking this on a job site and powering devices that you need every single day. But from my perspective, I prefer to look at this thing in regards to emergencies. Thankfully, it's something I don't want to have to use, but if I do have to use it, well, then I have easy access to it at all times. So for example, the winter months are pretty much here, guys. It's getting colder and colder. And let's just say a huge blizzard comes through. Hey, it happens. I'm over here in Pennsylvania. I don't know where you guys live, but we get at least one decent snowfall every year. And while to be without heat, that's not really a fun idea. Well, thankfully I have a couple space heaters in the house for emergency situations. So if I need to power one of those space heaters, I simply plug it into the AC outlets and boom, I'm good. And of course this power station is great for powering lights as well. I mean, we all need a light source when we lose power. And finally, you wanna make sure your devices such as your notebook and or your phone are charged at all times just in case you need them. So guys, all around, I gotta say the Fatork 500 watt portable power station is an excellent unit. I love it. I mean, it's been working perfectly. Again, wireless charging would have been nice for my iPhone 14 Pro Max, but I can live without that. I mean, it's not a big deal if you had to plug in a cable. It's not the end of the world. But yeah, I mean, overall, it's a great portable power station. It's not too large. It's not too heavy, which is great for easy on the go access. And while it's something you might want to consider owning, if anything, it's great for emergency situations. And of course, a huge thanks to Fatork for allowing me to review this. I greatly appreciate it, guys. And stay tuned. I actually have another video regarding Fatork because they want me to review a portable projector. Yes, a portable projector. It actually looks really sweet. So subscribe and stay tuned. I appreciate it. But for now, guys, I must go. Thank you so much for watching. If you do click that like button, I appreciate it. It helps this channel a lot. And of course, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for your continued support and I'll talk to you soon.